Hello again, welcome back. One from Black Isle Brewing Company in Scotland. And this is their New England IPA and it's called Road Runner. Road as in Road Island. Or as we I say in the un unboxing, Rhodesia. <laughs> Which isn't in the northeast of the uni USA. Let's crack it all. See what it pours like in my black ale brewing glass. It's quite pale. Well, that's poured with a nice inch and a half a rocky foam. It's not going to last that. This is a New England pale ale referring to Rhode Island. You can tell I've not read the can. In case you're wondering about the spelling of the name which means it's made with a Vermont yeast. We haven't gone full soft mouthfeel, zero bitterness with this though. It's got a bit of bite from the dry hop, but still retains a soft character that is typical of the style. 100% organic, brewed in the highlands of Scotland. It's a 440ml can, it's 5.3% ABV. Interesting can design. So I was expecting maybe a, a thick orange orange juice sort of a, but that is almost crystal clear. There's hardly any haziness to that at all. There's medium rising bubbles. White head is now a pinky of that, fast disappearing. No one, no room for a swirl. It looks nice. Cheers, my dears. I'll smell it first. I nearly. It's, it's citrusy, very fruity and hoppy. But it's the fruits I'm getting, there's some tropical fruit there. Maybe a passion fruit. Orange even. There's no like... Uh, Grapefruit or lemon or lime. Cheers, my dears. It's quite carbonated. I've noticed that with a few other beers, a lot of carbonation. The first thing that gets you. Apart from the carbonation, as you get that bitterness straight away, like a pithy bitterness, then you get in the fruitiness. Although it's there's no there's not a great deal of fruitiness. The main thing about this is the bitterness, and then you get in a different kind of maybe resinous bitterness lingering the back end along the edges of the tongue at the back and there's a wee bit of residual sweetness from the fruitiness as well it's not like most New England IPAs it's, as they say it's, it's, there's more, it's more pronounced bitterness than, than fruitiness or hoppiness but it's still very pleasant. It's a really nice beer. Uh, I'll have a wee look online, see what we can glean. Okay. So it's from Black Isle Brewing Company. Uh, BlackIsleBrewery.com is their website. It's called Road Runner. Flavour, juicy, soft bitterness. Yeah, it's juicy. It's fairly smooth drinking as well, yeah. Aroma, citrus, more orange, grassy, floral. Ingredients, water, malted barley, oats, hops, yeast. A simple two malt bill with Nelson Savon and Simcoe hops in the kale and dry hop. This is a Vermont yeast driven beer. 
Not a typical soft mouthfeel New England pale. This has bite and bitterness in balance with the yeast. Yeah, 100% organic, naturally. I think all the beers are organic. What's, what are they charging for? Three fifty a can. It's not cheap. But, I mean, it's not overly expensive either. I don't know what you're paying a pub for this. Fiver. It's a nice beer. But uh, go on expecting a bit of bitterness and... Uh, you won't be you won't be too overwhelmed. It's gassy. That's the only drawback. It's still a good beer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, ta ta for. Cheers, my dears. It's crying out for the syringe.